Hello, 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 and welcome back to Eternal Ring. We're still in the valley currently. Why did my mouse just come back? Go away. Uh, we're still exploring the valley. Uh, we made a load of rings in the last episode, and this episode we're going to go try to investigate the last two caves in here before we move on. I believe this takes us to the village eventually. We'll die. We've got gotcha. you. So it's respawning. It's kind of good because it gives us more gems. This is how we use new enough for our gems. We can do it with a new stockpile. Now, oh, we've knocked that protection on. There we go. The question is, is what is the way back to those two caves? Uh, as soon as we find one, it will take us straight to the other. It's not that way, because that's blocked. Oh, great, the lizard's back. Oh, see how much damage that did. Two of them this time, rather than three spells. Some new gems, cool. No, but it is blocked. This way. I feel like we're about to lose our protection. We did. Oh, stab and a blade is enough to keep taking that. Oh shit, you got close. Oh, too close. Oh, I saw someone on the floor. Did he stop dodging my attack? Especially when MP is so bloody expensive. Uh, I think it's that way. Essentially, to attack these, we're waiting for them to be in their attack range. Oh, there is a cave there. So there is four caves. But there's only three. Let's explore this one first. Same point. Ah, this might actually be the one I was referring to. Just take me to another part of the valley. Just do a quick save. And I believe our ring of protectors are out there. It is. So this leads round to the lizard that takes us into the forest. Both of them, then. Uh, we need to take a magic stone, otherwise, we will die. Because we need ring protect on still. Don't be missed. That's the last cave over there. Yep. Ooh, we could risk it. Because this is about to run out. And I don't think we're in danger whilst we're in this cave. Oh, we are. Well, I was wrong. <laughs> it's known to happen. The only problem is, is we are slowly running out of protection items. Can't you can't escape there, can you? Ah, the gem. Statue. Ah, there's two ways through this cave. Uh, we'll take this one first. Hopefully, this just takes us to some items. Another the magic stone. Oh, missed. Oh crap! Potentially out again. Oh no 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 no! If we got poison, then I'd be bloody annoyed because we've only got one anti poison left. It was just some items, cool. So, let's carry on through this cave. This should eventually take us to a village. The village has two ex well, three exits, one back into this place. Oh. Damn it, I, I 
knew that there was an exit that eventually led to another part of the valley. I didn't think there was, though, once I'd seen all the caves in the last bit. So that means there's more to explore. There's always more to explore. I should know this. There's an item over there. Those gems. I think that's the exit over there, because it's a ramp going upwards. So it needs to take me out of this valley of sludgy, moving mud. Ugh. I like that texture. There's another cave there. Bones is true. Let's open this cave first. It's a hole. It's in the hole. I hope we can get out of this hole while we just fell on it. I know this place. Nope. Oh, we can't get out. What? What killed me? Why did I die? I've got to replay about the footage there, because what killed me? Right then, after playing back the footage, it seems we just mysteriously died. There was there was no reason behind it, we just died. I'm guessing, and this is just a guess, it's speculative. Uh, is this the right way? I don't think it is. Where is it? Hole here that I didn't see. Which is the ring thing. Yeah, am I going? Yeah, that was the right way. Yeah, so what I'm guessing is, is we weren't intended to go in there yet. Maybe we like need heat protection or something, and because we didn't have it, we died. We took like a massive amount of damage. Because there was literally no reason for us to die. We we had 89 health. We're in the right way. Oh, for God's sake. Military uh, items. And that's our. Nope, we've got another extra thorn because. reasons. We died. Yeah, yeah, this is the right way. Oh, we've got to kill the moths again. Damn it. I hate fighting the moths. What a nightmare to hit. Unless you do something like that, and that hit the wrong moth. What the hell? To be honest, I could really do with the level three spells. But I don't have enough gems to do that. I don't want to upgrade the level four, uh, the level three uh, fire spell yet, because they're the only things I've got for dealing with these. Because I'm pretty sure. Based on how this is, because I, when I first started doing stereotypical RPG, on a lot of my uh, games, where it was based on a magic-based system, I tend to use this kind of magic system, where level one is, you know, just a single shot. Level two does like a continuous line, and then level three starts doing more and more damage and more effects. So I don't want to spoil what those spells are. That's why I'm not. Particularly mentioning what they do yet. For God's sake, I don't want to go that way. I do want to go this way. Look. I didn't want to do it right that second. He sword. He was about to laser me again. Alright, so we learnt our lesson. Do not go in the hole. Every hole is a goal, apart from in this situation, where our goal is to stay out of the hole. I, I know it's down there, kind of. But as soon as I started to hear the breathing effect, I knew what it was. This is a big ass dragon that is taking a nap. So it would have been cool to look at, but, you know, obviously the game gods thought otherwise for us. Damn it, dodge it. 
missed. Alright, maybe we didn't miss it because that one killed it. I think that's the other side of the bone pile. So, yep, that's it. There's everything around here. The gems are so bloody big. If there's anything like the rings, we'd miss them all. The rings are friggin' tiny. Though. So I'm still swearing that first water area I'm moving through, but there was another magic ring and we missed it. Jesus Christ, we're still not out of here yet. Oh, and the magic. Cool. Oh. I would like one of each of the fences. As well, they slowly improve. Kind of. But then again, say that you got like earth heal that then became a protection ring. No, oh, wasted. So now we're at the tree. And there's our ring generator. I don't think we've got enough gems to. Uh, Upgrade our fire ring. Technically, we can make the air level two air ring, air defense and fire defense level twos. Let's have a look. We can't get rid of the ring of protection, obviously, because that's vital. We need to keep those so we can go back to the the valley again. We want to go into that hole. Well, we have another magic ring. I'm going to put two winged gems in. Two waterfall gems. That will make the level two air defense ring. And then that uh, EV ring, is it? Yeah, the level two water heal ring. We'll turn that into the level five defense ring. I think that's got like a Offense boost or something? And I think this might be defense boost? I can't remember. We'll find out in a second. So what do you do? Confusion. Oh, I think that. Does that lift them up in the air? Maybe. Like curing water. Actually, let's have a look at the confusion ring. Don't really confuse the enemy in parent judgment. Hmm. Last. Uh, we'll replace the confusion one then. The exact same again. Combined. That'll give us the defensive flame ring, level two. Our gems, we might have some to do some combos again. We'll try and do combos. We haven't got the basic fire ring. Do we have a fire gem? A spare fire gem, maybe. So, what do you do? What do you do, my friend? Weaken. Weaken target strength and lowest direct damage attacks. I'm not going to use it. Air and stone. I don't think I've got either one of those. I don't think I've got an air stone ring, so we'll give it a go. Wait, did I just put two earth gems together? Oh, I did, for God's sake. That's a level one stone ring. I put the wrong gem on it. And I don't think I've got enough earth and enough gems to make the uh the earth stone ring. Oh, I do. Would have been nice to have had two attempts at this rather than one. Oh well. And what are we getting this time? Oh, that doesn't look like an air ring or a stone ring, so that's a combo ring. 
windstone ring. Cool. But it is good to try and bring all the elemental rings up. So right now I'm going to put on a stone ring. It's going to lower my wind slightly, but it's going to bring my earth right up. I could do with a fire, let's be honest. Ooh, that's going to affect light and dark quite badly. We'll see what we got for now. We need some bloody fire attributes because our fire spell is terrible at the But then again, we're only really using it to take down moths, so we'll get saving. Now, also, next problem is we just spent all of our gems making rings again. And we've just entered a new area with a new shop. He randomly wakes up and he does stuff randomly. That's the way into the forest, I think. Kill the shot. You're a shop, you're an elf. You don't need golden grass and all this lot. Nice if I could sell them. Magic jewel. Alright, small sword. We don't have. No, we do have the small sword. We don't have this sword. We need 15 gems. I don't have 15 gems, I only have 7. So we need more gems, that'll get us the next sword. But I believe this is the only other shop in the game now. Maybe. I might be wrong on that, to be honest. I'm not 100%. I don't think we... Oh, we can click on that. soon we are going to have to go explore the forest. Or we might even have to go back to the valley and fight some sword, get the better sword, then go to the forest. But we might be alright in the forest. I mean, we have got better rings now than we had. Where's this one that leads to the forest? It shouldn't do. Because if it does, we... It does. This is the forest. Huh. So what was that other entrance down the bottom? I wonder when the forest is just yet. I want to make sure this area is fully explored before we go in the forest. The thing is, I don't think we can drop down these platforms without taking damage. No, we can't. It's not a lot of damage, though. Nine damage. I can look at that. So where does this go, then? The other place led to the forest. Unless it's just another hole into the valley. No. Oh, crap. Uh, I actually walked into the exit. <laughs> ah, I think this is the way back in from that cave. Okay. But apparently we can't go in that cave yet. 
what we do need is we need this guy down here to wake up. Because he's the one who wants this bracelet we got. I'm sure of that. It's one of his men that's uh, died, and it's the only way to prove he's still there. Uh, well, uh, he died, and that he didn't take back to his family and such. I think it's time now we go into the forest. We'll enter from this side. So we need to fully explore this forest. There's, I know there's a lot of rings out here. There's some treasure chests, a lot of important stuff that we need. I think this is where you get the ring of Seek. Seeker ring, I think it's called or something. And I see this is where we got the actual lizard man. They will mess us up. Whoosh. Shit. We pissed off the bees. This is where the rear seat would come in handy. It does exactly what you think it's going to do. It gives Seeker on. Oh, God damn it! It puts Seeker on your attacks. Choose a magic stone. Good plan. That's a miss. I was actually aiming for B there, but okay. Got one. I'm sure this drops some important when you kill it as well. I'm surprised the fire damage isn't doing more damage to this than what it's doing. Two bees left. Yeah, one bee left. Two bees left. It spawned another bee. Right, I'm too low. I'm too high. And just completely missed. And I'm terrible with this. Give me a bow and arrow, please. I might do a bit better then. I can't hit static targets, apparently. <laughs> Why am I so bad? Fireball! Yeah, I got you out of time. Spell. Admittedly, my earth, earth spell is my, earth, my fire spell is my weakest spell. This is taking the piss. I'm guessing air cut would probably be one of the best ones to use. But we don't have access to that anymore. Jesus Christ. Oh shit! Oh shit! Big B with a very long reach. I'm the magic. I guess if that stabs me, it's going to either do a lot of damage or it's going like, to paralyze me or something.
But they were right. I definitely am not ready for forest yet. The sword is barely doing any damage. As far as I can see, my magic is terrible. Can't exactly go into that hole yet. That's the foundry, if I remember right. It takes you to the foundry. There, got it. There, just drops some cloudy. I think the bees have got stuck under the ground because I can consistently hear bees. Like, why am I not using my headset for any of these recordings I've been doing? Oh, I bet you guys have got a right friggin' echo going. Crap, I didn't think about that. Hopefully they're quiet enough that like you can't quite hear them. Uh, and as a matter of trying to be nice, I'm going to put my headset on. Wherever it is. Where is my headset? Headset's usually sat there. It's gone under the desk. I know why. I unplugged it so I could do some video editing earlier. Let's put it back in. And so that means, near enough, every recording happened today is probably going to sound awful. One sec. Right. Oh, I think that's actually made the game sound even louder. Hopefully that's fixed things. I can just hear bees continuously now. I don't think I can. I don't think we can stand at the edge and stab him and not take damage. Nope. Let's put up with the sound of the bees whilst we kill these things. They're a lot stronger now that they are poisoned. This is barely doing any damage. As far as I can tell, can I? Stone in the brain. I'm not really using, using that spell, so. Yeah. Actually, let's go with that spell. Water, fire, rain, uh, ring of rain, ring of rain. Because it might freeze the dinosaurs. I just wish that this bee sound would go away. Voice. It's only hitting one of them, which is a problem. I would have hit both. Yeah, I don't think we're good. We're ready for this foul yet. Yeah, we're definitely not ready for this foul yet. Alright, so what I think then is, is we will head out and get away from this nasty, really bee sound. There's definitely bees stuck under the ground, hopefully. Oh, it's not. Yeah, the sound somewhat fixed. It's still bloody loud as. And it's just playing one continuous note. I think we've broke the audio in this game. Uh, we've definitely broke the sound. Great. I'm just going to mute it then. You guys can listen to me for a bit. Hopefully that guy down there is what it could be us. What I'm thinking is, is... We talked to this guy, we're pretty much at the end of the episode today. Who's that? It's the same as like the last time. You've got to go into the inventory, click use. I don't know if he'll give me some effect.
Oh, it's a ring. Nice. Glad you guys have to listen to this one continuous, oh, single continuous. Time. It's kind of annoying. So, what ring did he just give me? Oh, it's just a ring of magic. Cool. We can use that to make the other defense ring. Do we actually have any extra gems now? I don't think we gained any from fighting them. No, we didn't. So, what we're going to do is, is we are going to save it here. Mostly so I can get this game turned off and back on again, so I don't have to hear this one, though. But that wraps up today's episode. Uh, next episode, we're going to head back into the valley, and we're going to go kill some guys down there. We're going to see about getting us some level 2 gems, and see if we can make some of these stronger attribute rings. But until then, guys, I'll see you all next time. Goodbye!